Daybreak is all local all morning long, and every Saturday we highlight a local company together with our partners at Indiana Grown. This morning we're getting to feature three different Indiana farms, all part of the Farmers Veteran Coalition Indiana chapter. So we have uh, with us this morning, Mardine Roach from the Roach Family Farms. We have Joe Ricker from uh, Ease Orchard. And then we have Caitlin Yeed, you're part of the communications director for this. So first and foremost, can you explain a little bit um, what is FBC? Uh, Caitlin, you want to go first? Yeah, so FBC really helps to transition veterans into either having jobs in agriculture or having their own farms. And they have a lot of programs and workshops to help us do that and to really get those people into these positions. Okay, so Mardine, your farm, one of the winners of something that um, kind of helps fund your farm and program. Tell me a little bit about your story and what you guys have won. Yeah, so we applied for a fellowship fund through the Farmer Veteran Coalition earlier this winter, and luckily we were one of the ones that were able to get that grant. Uh, how much d help is this grant, having something like this? It, it's a tremendous help. Um, we, it's a piece of equipment that we've been looking to buy for several years, mm. but the funding just wasn't there, so this is going to pay for about 60% of that equipment. Amazing. I know that farming yes. equipment, it, it can be astronomically high, some of the, um, as much as a house sometimes, some of these equipment. So, Joe, tell us a little bit about um, your experience, your story with the Farmers Veterans Coalition. So I'm with the Indiana chapters of Farmers Veterans coalition and uh, they do great things for veterans one of the things they do besides the fellowship fund is they provide the homegrown by heroes mm. label which we combine with the indiana grown label um, which identifies to people that buy products you know that it's bought that it was made by a veteran and it was made in indiana so they should look as they're buying these products see if it has this homegrown by heroes logo um, and why is it so important to help support this uh, why does it really benefit our veterans to get into this so I think veterans kind of look for something to do when they get out of the service, and agriculture just seems to be a great avenue for them. Um, Indiana has some great programs for them. One of them is called Indiana Ag Vets, mm. and uh, they stipend uh, veterans to get into agriculture and learn about agriculture also. Caitlin, what's some things that you want people out there to know about this um, group that if they maybe haven't heard of it before? Yeah, so like we're here, we are <laughs> here, and we really want to help them, and like our whole goal is to just help Indiana and help these veterans together and to just really bring everyone together. Maybe if a veteran's watching, this is something that they've thought about doing, then you're a group that they can turn to for assistance and help? Yes. Okay. Um, and then tell us a little bit about your story, Mardine. Um, you are getting some help from this, but um, how long have you guys been a farm? What's your history here? Yeah, so we bought our farm in 2014 in Switzerland County, and then about 2018, we decided that we didn't need to be running it as a homestead, but mm. actually needed to make it a working farm. Um, my husband was actually off that year due to some military injuries, and he was off for the whole year, so we had lots of time to think, and mm -hmm. um, started selling beef and then progress into pork, chicken, turkey, and goats. Wow, so all sorts of stuff. So Joe, where can people find these products? So the products are usually labeled by the individual veteran farm. Mm -hmm. um, there is some combination areas or some places where we can buy it. We're working on our website to try to get a, you know, advertising out there for all the veterans. Um, and, and the label really shows that a lot of the veterans go to farmer's markets so they mm -hmm. can look for the Homegrown by Heroes label with the Indiana Grown on it and uh, no veteran made it. All right, wonderful. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. So that Homegrown by Heroes logo, look out for it if you're headed to a farmer's market this morning.